Hi guys, how are you? Hi, good night. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, de act. Para cuando nos vamos a dormir, si decimos. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Sorry. All right, vaya. Qué bueno que sí sabemos esa diferencia, ¿verdad? Eh, hasta a mí me sale a veces de decir good night, pero eso es ya cuando nos vamos a dormir. Okay. Right. Um, guys, I know that you are almost advanced. So we will continue the English environment, okay? So no Spanish, if unless it's very, very necessary to clarify some doubts, okay? Yeah. Do you remember my name? You got mail. No, yeah, no se acuerdan de mi nombre. Don't remember my name. My name is Vilma, guys. If you don't remember, yeah, 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 guys. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, nice, nice to see you again, and thank you for being on time. Okay. Yes. Okay, we have some, well, some exercises that we need to finish. Also, we are going to review some vocabulary related to uh, the uh, the performance, right? The uh, the way that somebody is, like their personalities. Okay, let me share the screen and we're gonna start. Help me with the cameras, guys, please. Please, please, please. Hello. Ahí sí, miren, ya es, ya es otra cosa. Ya ver solo pantallas negras. Se ve raro. It looks kind of weird to uh, talk to someone who is like with the blank screen. All right. So thank you for turning on the, the cameras. Now, avísenme cuando pueden ver la pantalla. Dice Ana, I don't feel well. You will be just listening, says Ana. Okay, Ana. I hope that you feel better. Okay. No problem. Okay. Give me a moment. Here it is. Welcome, uh, the ones that you just joined. Thank you for being on time, guys. Uh, is there someone that was not connected yesterday? Mm, maybe not, right? No, I have everybody that I already met yesterday. So um, we're going to start, guys. I know you already watched the video. Can you tell me something about the video? Just to summarize, can you tell me about the video? Who wants to tell me uh, like a quick summary about the video, about camping? Come on, come on, come on. I need participation. I need you to practice. I need you to uh, speak. Remember, uh, we are here because we are almost advanced. Actually, some of you are in advanced level already. So um, who can tell me about a video? What can you tell me about the video? Summarize. You understand what summarize means, right? Yes. Summarize, all right. So what can you tell me about this video? I mean, if I play the video, it is okay, but it is like five minutes long, right? It's a little yeah. bit long. So I know you already watched the video, right? Right. Okay. So what can you tell me about that video? What do you think? Well, there were two girls. They're, they were at night making a fire, and they were talking about uh, a, a history a story that uh, uh -huh, story a yes. story that uh, the people that she heard from someone that was in the uh, in the bathroom, and mm -hmm. when that when she was telling to her friends, um, the someone appeared was the policeman and he just presented with them and and they got uh, a little bit uh, fired because. Um, he was like uh, the man she was talking about uh, in the story. Okay, thank you, Lorena, very well. 
uh, they got scared, right? When he just bumped out and he just appeared and it was like suddenly. That is why they got scared. And uh, what, what else can you tell me, guys? Something else? Thank you, Lorena. Very nice summary, okay? Anything okay. else? Uh huh. You didn't watch the video, guys? Okay, so this is the video, and I know you already watched it, so we're not going to talk about the video. I mean, we're not going to play it because you already watched the video, right? So anything else that you want to add, Algo Mas? Something else you want to add, guys? Was it a police officer? The one who appeared, was it a police? No, maybe not. It is the man that uh, worked. It's the guard, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The forest guard. Exactly. The forest guard, yeah. Exactly. Basically, they are just taking care of everything, but they are not police officers, uh, in, like uh, exactly as a police. All right. Thank you. Um, what else? Well, let's continue with the uh, with this number one, the, the section number one. Okay. Uh, please help me with the cameras. Again, una vez más, les pido cameras on. Okay. Uh, please read for me, Angela Santa Maria. All right. Read the yes, instructions teacher. for me, okay? Yes, me. Um. <clears throat> In this class, participants will listen to conversation where time clothes are used in the context. Okay. The time clauses are used, time, all right? I know the spelling used. is not the correct one. It's closest, all right? It's closest since it's plural. Used, all right? Used. The ED used. ending, yeah. They, okay. uh, the time okay. clauses are used in context, all right? Um uh, here uh Angela, remember this is a V, so you need to pronounce it with a V as well as well, okay? Conversation. Everybody, let me hear you. Conversation. 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 Right? Conversation. It's like you use your your lip and your teeth, all right? Con esta V, it's something different, all right? It's conver -vo -vo -vo. Conversation. Conversation. All right. Conversation. What time clauses did you get? What are what are the time clauses that you already know? By the time. By the time. Yes. Until. Until. Okay. What else? Once. Once. Mm -hmm. After. After. Anything else? As soon as. As soon as, yes. What else? At the moment. At the moment, right? Or by that time, you can also say, or at that moment, when you're talking about a specific time uh, in the past, all right? And what else? Here we have some of them. These are the most common. So at the moment, by the time, also, by the time being, there's another expression, all right? When, after, before, until, uh, as soon as, while, all right? We can use while when we're talking about two uh, simultaneous actions, right? And once, like, okay, since this happened, this started to change. This, uh, um, this is the use when we say once, for example. Um, and it's very... Very common to use this time expression when you're talking, for example, uh, about the, the video. You can say, oh, okay, by the time the guard arrived, all right, the guard got very scared, right? So that is another example where, where we can use these time clauses. So let's let's watch this video this time. Este sí creo que mm, es importante porque está, eh, basically it is, 
in use, right? The, the time clauses are in used or I are in the context. So we can have a better idea on how to use it. Let me just share the audio. There you go. Let me know if you can hear, please. Why was that so important? And we're going to answer some questions, okay? So pay attention because I'm going to ask you some questions. Can you hear? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me every Okay, I played the video since so the beginning. How you like since when you were younger? Short, just a minute. Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was... All right. If that is another uh, another question I want you to tell me, okay? Another turning point for the girl was... Pay attention. Is that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months, and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Uh-huh. What can you answer? Let me see. Nobody has shared anything in the in the forum, right? It would be a good idea if you could uh, like interact yourselves uh, here, all right? You can actually write something in the discussion and you can give us the answer. So what was another uh, um, turning point the girl had? You got you understand what a turning uh, turning point is, right? Yeah, she had a a pet. All right, she became most more uh, a lot more responsible, right? Responsible, because yeah. exactly, she um adopted, let's say like that, she adopted a pet or a, a, spe a specifically a dog. All right, what about for Alan? He had a bicycle. Okay. So how that. How that um, how that change, Alan? How does that uh, Alan's life change? Because he felt like a free free man. He could go wherever he wanted, and that's okay. why. Okay. Thank you, Lorena. Anybody else want to tell me something? He was taking care of the bicycle, so he developed like a kind of discipline. And it made him more mature. Very good. Thank you, Ronald. Very nice. Uh, anything else, guys? You can say almost the same thing as Lorena just said and as Ronald said as well. But you can give like, um, you know, try to use the, um, at the time closes as well. Okay. And try to say it in your own words. Okay. Um, let me just play it again. Okay, so how, how, where so can how you see you the like time? When you time? were younger, listen to the conversation and find.
One moment, please. Me ayudan con las cámaras y lo digo en español porque creo que no me entendieron en inglés, guys. Please, turn on the cameras, ¿ok? Otherwise, yo entenderé que no están en la clase, ¿ok? Así que no puedo contar con las personas que no estoy viendo, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando yo hablo, por ejemplo, con Angélica, que ayer creo que me dijo que tenía problemas con su compu, no me recuerdo cómo fue, pero estuve preguntándole un montón de veces, Angélica, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Y a los 10 minutos me vino a contestar. Entonces, eso es una pérdida de tiempo para los demás, ¿verdad? Creo que es una falta de respeto también para los demás que también están más activos en la clase. Así que, guys, por favor, me ayuda Kevin, específicamente Diana. Claudia, ahora me dijo que, que hoy y mañana, um, ¿quién es que me dijo que hoy y mañana no podía? La, no, podía I, no, yo le Oli. Hello, can you say something in English, no Spanish, ok? Um, yesterday and today I'm, going, I'm not I'm going to turn on the camera because I'm on my work. All right, so yes, I remember yes. you, Claudia. You said on Mondays and Tuesday you work, so yes. you will turn on the camera. So I already uh, remember that. Okay, what about okay. Monica? Uh, what happened with Monica? Indiana? Oh, we have another Claudia. Claudia Giron and Claudia Sarabia. Who is Claudia Sarabia? I don't remember you. Ah, there you go, Claudia. It's your first time. You didn't, uh, you didn't, uh, well, you were not uh, in the class yesterday, right? But you're driving, right? All right. So, I, I didn't hear you, but I can but I can read your lips, all right? So, whenever you, uh, by the time you arrive home, listen, I ocupamos un time close. By the time you arrive home, I know you will turn on the cameras and you will introduce yourself with us, all right? Okay, thank you. Uh, Diana, what happened to you? I'm sorry, I have to stand up, so. I I left the class. I don't know what, what you asked. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you very well. It's like it's like breaking up, so I couldn't hear you. Uh, let me just connect again. Voy a poner nuevamente. I'm going to connect uh, the internet from the cable. Okay, one moment. Okay. I will play the video again and then I need more participations, okay? Find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog. But I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, 
that only lasted a few months and then I lost interest in it. Okay. Uh, tell me, what are the time clauses here, uh, here, guys? In this paragraph or dialogue? When is the first one? Another one? Yeah. Until. Until, all right, very good. Until I graduated, so you see more examples. What else? Never. You, uh, there is another one here, look. Then. Then, then. exactly. We, we didn't talk about that, so we, it is another one. Uh-huh, and then? When? Okay, what else? Um, after. Mm -hmm. When? After, all right. Once, here we have it. All right. Once I had a job, One I became total. All right, that's it. That's it. Um, <laughs> I hear a little background. Okay, thank you. Let's read the second uh, instruction, please. Help me. I need a volunteer, okay? Me? Yes, I'm me. Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn to use coordinating conjunction. conjunctions. Conjunctions, all right? Conjunction. Subordinating conjunctions, all right? Conjunction. Uh, these are basically. Uh, words that you or link to ideas, all right? Uh, those are uh, subordinating conjunctions. What are they? Do you remember? Okay, let's watch the video and then we can discuss them. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of... So blurry, right? It's just me or you can see it blurry as well? Yeah, I it's can blurry. see it. Okay. It's blurry. It's blurry, right? It's blurry for me. <laughs> yeah. Let me start again. irresponsible you really what made you change graduating from high school what do you mean well until I graduated I'd never had any important responsibilities but then I went off to college I know what you mean I was really immature when I was a teenager so what made you change I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home once I had a job I became totally independent where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. 
Of course, that only lasted a few months, and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Hmm. It's the same video, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's repeated. Anyways, guys, I thought it was different, but I, I wanted to show you some, what it says. Let me read here. Okay, subordinated conjunctions, all right? We are basically using time clauses when we are uniting or we are linking to ideas, right? In some of, some of the ideas, uh, when we are writing specifically, or when we are talking, we can we need to make pauses, all right? Example, I'm gonna show you this. I just got, okay, you just use it at the beginning. And if it's at the beginning, you need to separate it by commas, all right? That is why it's a subordinated conjunction because there is an idea that has another result or it has another outcome because of the first idea, all right? That is why it's a subordinated conjunction, all right? Uh, after Anna moved along, comma, all right? You see that the time word is also at the beginning, but when we have, for example, I work, we have two separate words. Let me just show you how. Mm. We have two sentences, all right? We have here, this is the main clause or the main um, sentence. So this is the subordinated sentence, all right? But if we have, for example, number one, and this is the number two, right? This is the, the second or the, the second sentence, that means that if we change the, the order and we put it at the beginning, there is not um, there is no need to use a comma, all right? Basically, that is what I wanted to mention, okay? Got it, guys? Do you have questions with this? But sometimes we can change, no? We can change the, the, the order, yes, definitely. Yeah, okay. But uh, as I mentioned, if it's at the beginning, if the word or the time word, it's at the beginning, we always have to pause and use a comma, okay? Okay, okay. That's it. Okay. okay, there you have more examples. Now I want you, everybody, everybody either to text me or to say something uh, as an example, using a time uh, or a conjunction, okay? Give me your example, guys. Example, in my case, oh, by the time I, I graduated from the university, I was already 30, 34 years old. I was very old, <laughs> all right? And when I started my university, I was 27, I guess, something like that, no, 20, 25, I guess. All right, this, this is my example. Give me your example, guys. Uh-huh. Quiero más participaciones que solo me, me ha participado Lorena y Angela for, for uh, at the, by the time. I have only had two participations. So everybody is in the class. So I need your participation, guys. Si no, pues continuamos con otro tema. We continue and we just review this like, how, you know, we don't have to talk too much about it. It is, it, it, it depends on you. Oh, también uh, Ronald, that his favorite name is um, Steve, right? Yeah, thank you, Ronald uh, or Steve. Okay, I have three participations that, and we have 16 students here. So I want to hear you guys. Estamos como en el colegio que toda la profesora lo quiere, quieren que lo haga. Lo haga. Eh, thankfully, 
I have a UPS. Así que si se va la luz, me aguanta todavía. Okay, but the, there was a, a power outage right now, all right? Eh, ajá, give me an example. Vamos, 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 vamos. Eh, vamos entonces a hacerlo dedocráticamente. We're going to select a person, all right? Eh, Edgardo, give me your example using a time close. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, before our graduate before i graduated uh, of the new university i worked as electrical technician <clears throat> okay very good so you and then when you graduated you you changed your job yes okay nice example thank you edgardo uh, jesus tell me i need this one example really, guys uh, uh -huh. Okay, I mean, in the order to say something, I mean, please call me Alberto. I don't like Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. Just, Sorry, just thank you for letting it's me because, know. Yeah, because it's a requirement. I have to put my full name. So, because. Yes, I know. Okay. I, but it's okay. So, please Alberto, call me Alberto. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Thank you for letting yeah, us know. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay. okay I, I had an example that is similar to the first one before I became a developer. I work as an accountant assistant. Oh, okay. All right, but we already used before. All right, we already used before. I need something else. That is why I'm asking you guys to give me your example because they after you're, you're, tell, you're repeating the same example and I want a different example. All right, so that is why I'm asking you, okay, tell me, tell me, tell me because I don't want repeated examples, but it's a, it's a perfect example, Alberto, but I need a different uh, word or time expression. Ciro. Before I became a mechanic, I was a, a student. Mm -hmm. But we have used before three times already. I need a different one, not before, before, bye-bye, okay? Not anymore, a different okay. one, zero. But a good, the, the example is perfect, okay? But I need something different, okay? We have here also some here. Aquí tenemos some of them as well. Lisette, give me another example. Vaya, regreso con zero, I'll come back to you. And with Alberto, because I don't want repeated examples with the same conjunction. Thank you, Lorena. You see, there is another example. Claudia gave me another example as well, using when and using by the time. All right, what else? Uh, Lisette. Thank you, Ronald. Super nice yes. example. <laughs> I need more time, teacher. Okay, very good. So think about it, okay? We have some examples here, okay? Okay. We have some examples here. We have we already used when, we already used uh, by the time, we already used before. So uh, what about Isaac? I'm sorry, when, in English? Uh, when I was a child? Uh, we already use when. Okay. Thank you. Come on, Isaac. Don't, 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 don't be afraid. Give me another example. Ya ven, si no se los estoy preguntando y están esperando que los demás le estén dando los ejemplos. Tenemos que hacerlo también nosotros, ¿ok? Eh, y el mismo ejemplo de before está bien, pero necesito que me den otros ejemplos, ¿ok? Para los que todavía tienen esa duda de cómo ocuparlos, ¿all right? So I need different examples, different conjunctions. Ok, Kevin, Antonio. Hey, teacher, uh, once a, a new job, I have already at my house. Can you repeat it louder and a little bit faster? Okay, I need more fluency, guys. Once a new job, uh, I bought uh, my house. Oh, okay. Once I have a new job, 
I will buy a house. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Super, I like it. All right, and uh, that is not very common. Vean, como, como ocupo esa, Kevin. Super bien, very good. Um, Diana, are you there? One, two, three. Yes, teacher. All right, what happened with, with the camera? I'm sorry. I can't turn it on right now, but tomorrow I will. Okay, Diana, thank you. Uh, tell me, tell me your example. As soon as I bought a car, I um, I I, I want to say that I consume more less money. All right, say it one more time with more fluency and more confident. Tiene que hacerlo con más seguridad, okay? Vamos, again, more fluency, as I need more fluency. As soon as I bought a, a car, I earned less money. I spent less money. As soon as you get the car, al solo que usted consiga un carro va a gastar menos dinero, or you're going to spend more okay. money. Actually, you will spend more money in gasoline. <laughs> I guess, Diana. I'm used okay. to hire a taxi, and it was more expensive. That's oh. why I, I said it. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That is the reason. Okay, spending in Uber or any taxis is more expensive. So yes, very good. A nice example. Now I understand much better. You see, okay. everything depends on the context that you're saying, right? What you're saying. So thank you very much. Angelica, are you there? Yes, teacher. Tell me your example. Once I graduate from college, I became more ambitious to learn new things. Okay, let me come let me correct something. Once I graduated, that is in past. Yes. All right. Repeat. It. Graduated. Once I, I graduated. Once I graduated from uh, the university. Uh-huh. Uh, once I graduated from university, I become more ambitious to learn new things. All right, became in este caso, verdad? O I have become, me he convertido, ¿verdad? I have became porque cuando me gradué, me convertí o me hice, ¿verdad? De esta forma. Entonces ocupamos el verbo en pasado, guys. ¿Ok? Ok. Ya. Yeah. Eh, para Diana, cuando me dijo, as soon as I buy, ella me dijo bought, si no me equivoco. Entonces ahí me da a entender that you're talking about the past. Pero si está hablando que lo va a comprar, sería I buy, ¿verdad? In present, ¿ok? Pay attention on the on the verb that you're using. Good example, but remember to use the past si estamos hablando del pasado y si pues es en presente o en futuro, el verbo siempre lo dejamos en qué tiempo, les dije? Present. In present, exactly. Cuando yo digo, ah, cuando ta, tenga tal cosa, when I graduate, cuando yo me gradué, sí, when I graduate, I'm talking about the future. So we always use the, sim the verb in, in simple present. ¿Qué significa if it's in simple present? Que si estoy hablando de, por ejemplo, eh, decir, like Claudia, ¿cómo me lo diría Rona, eh, Steve? How can you say lo que ella me dijo? Por ejemplo, diciéndolo lo que, con sus palabras, hablando de Diana. Remember, it's using the simple present. Uh, se lo I voy mean, a uh -huh. about, the, about the university or which no. sentence? Listen, I'm going to give you um, my example, okay? Um, as soon as my daughter finishes... Ahí estamos hablando del, del, de, de tercera persona. Por eso estoy hablando del simple present. ¿Qué es lo que cambió ahí? As soon as my daughter finishes her school, we are going to travel. Al solo que mi, mi hija salga o finalice, ¿qué, ¿qué forma de verbo utilicé? What is the form of the verb? Be careful with that, guys. Simple present. Exactly. Third person. The third person finishes. Ahora bien, dice ella, repeat the example like Diana said. Okay. 
uh, when or once I get a car or once I buy a new car, I will spend less money. Say it in the third person. ¿Quién me lo escribe, por favor, en las terceras personas ahí en el chat? Si no lo sabes, Steve. Once she gets a new car, she will get, uh, she will spend Very less good. money. All right. Pero el verbo era buy. Sería entonces? Ah, buy. Uh, once she buys a new car, Very she good. will Applause spend less money. Very good. Exactly. We need to pay attention with that. Okay? okay. Simple present. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, thank you, Steve. Okay. Póngale esos dos nombres, please. Write your, your either, either it's okay. Either it's okay. You say you want to be unique, not like your father's. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I got used to it. All right. Okay. Good example. Who's missing? If you don't want to give me more example, guys, we are fine, but I would like to hear from everybody. Okay. Um, Lisette, you were missing something. Tell me. Yes. At the moment, my driver board. I learned to, mo to be more responsible and careful. Mm -hmm. Repeat it, please. At the moment, my daughter is born, I learned to be more responsible. Oh, yeah, okay. At the time, right? Oh, very good, very good. Uh, um, Jonathan, is it, are you new? I didn't see your, I didn't write your name here, Jonathan, yesterday. Vaya, ¿no está? You see? Para que no van a decir después, miren, no me toman en cuenta porque yo les hablo y no me contestan y ni siquiera tienen la cámara para saber si de verdad están ahí. Ok, eh, Mónica. Claudia y... Um, Claudia? Sí. Yes. Un ejemplo. Um, oh, you, yes. you, you texted already? No sé si alguien yes. me lo escribieron. There are three. Uh, um, can I oh, read yeah, one? Oh, yeah, I see. Them? As soon as I start watching series, all right? I am yes. good until I finish to watch, all right? I know. It's like you want to watch the, ho the whole saga, right? The whole, yes. the all the, of the, all the chapters, all, all the episodes, all right? Yes. At the moment I started, says Lorena, studying English. I decided not to stop until I learned it. All right, very nice example, guys. Ahí tienen unos muy buenos ejemplos de Claudia. Lorena puso varios también. By the time I got married, I had not traveled. Very good, you're using present perfect. Ahí estamos ocupando un past perfect, actually, Lorena. Very good examples, nice examples. Congratulations, guys. I feel very proud when you are participating and doing a great job, okay? Uh, remember, practice makes perfection. So you need to practice, okay? Uh, let's continue. Let me clear everything and close my drawings. Remove this, this too, and let's continue. Next, I need someone to help me read, okay? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to answer the, this exercise, okay? 1.4. I want you, Claudio, you want to participate? You can read it. You can read the instructions, yes. please. Yes. Um, match the clauses with appropriate information. Choose the best answer. Choose the best answer. Very good. Appropriate. All right. Appropriate. 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 Very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, continue reading number one. Tell me what do you think the best answer is? Okay. By the time I was 15, um, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay. I realized I wasn't a, ch that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay, very good. We will check the answers later. I know that you already okay. did it, so you know the answers, okay? But we will uh, we will uh, correct them if it's necessary. Yes. Anyways, the system just um, corrects itself, all right? Uh, the second one, anybody? Another volunteer? Number two? Me, teacher. Yes. Tell me, Angela. Okay. Yeah. The second, 
Number two, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, okay, until I start working part time. Aha, uh -huh. repeat it, start it. Start it, guys, the ED, start. aquí tenemos que pronunciarlas, okay? Start. Ya les voy a dar el tip, si no se recuerdan, if you don't remember, we are going to talk about that because you are almost advanced and I need the part, the pronunciation very very well okay so every time we have a ted we always pronounce the end of the verb all right in the regular form for the regular verbs all right i started ¿Qué I dije? Start. después de la te la te de siempre se pronuncia extra como una uh, extra syllable okay? okay no en todos los casos vamos a clarificar eso yo sé que ya lo vieron pero se los voy a recordar porque a veces se nos olvida pronunciar esa ed verdad Y si digo, until I start, hasta que yo comience, digo ahí. Pero si digo, oh, until I started, hasta que comencé. Ok, ya son dos cosas diferentes, right? There we're talking about present or simple past. Así que el ED, ahí hay que pronunciarlo. Repeat it, please. Until I started working part-time. Mm -hmm. Ok. What is the um, answer? Um, I think I, you haven't I finished did. you haven't finished that exercise Angela it's okay por eso lo estamos haciendo aquí para, lo, para que <laughs> tengamos la respuesta correcta ¿verdad? pero okay. tell me what do you think the best answer is mm. Anyone? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I've begun. I have never said any morning. I have, I have never said any morning. I have never. What is it? I had I never saved. saved. I, I had never saved, saved any money. Anymore. Saved. D, d, saved, saved any money. Saved. Arrastremos saved. esta D con A. Saved. Ok. Saved. Para que se nos haga más fácil saved. esa pronunciación del pasado. Right? I, I have never saved. Saved. Saved, 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 saved any money. ¿Verdad? Ok. Saved any money. Ok. One. Let's choose this one. Number three. Tell me another person. Hello? Number three? Uh, me. Okay. 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 Um, vaya. Solo a Ronald pude, uh, um, pude ver a Steve que, que me dijo no, a la otra persona no escuché quién era. Si me pueden levantar la mano, por favor. It would be better, okay? okay. Uh, tell me, Steve, the number three. It, uh... I would say I began to understand the value of money. Okay. The moment I got my first paycheck. Uh, the moment I got my first paycheck, I began to understand the value of money. The second Excellent. one. That is totally true, right? When we don't have when we don't work, we don't value the money, right? We don't value the effort that our parents make. So um um, the value of money, okay? Number four, Lisette. As soon as I left home, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Oh, okay. So if this is the correct, if this is the one, that means that the number one is something else, right? Porque ya la, ya la tenemos. Yes. No. So number one, what is four. it, guys? What do you I think? Four. By the time I was 15, I had learned mm -hmm. how to take care of myself. Ah, very good. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, because it is not repeated, all right? It, it cannot be the same answer in the in the same in the in the, in the questions. Um number four, as soon as I Miren, guys, como sonamos más. Um, fluidez, con más fluidez. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, ok, 
¿Qué hago aquí? Uno la N con la A, por ejemplo. Hace una SAI y aquí pongo la S con la I. Y así sueno mucho más tú. All right. As soon as I left home, all right, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Wasn't a child anymore. Okay. Child anymore. Great. Number five. Who wants to give me the answer? Who wants to read? Ok, aquí vamos a estar entonces esperando que se nos hagan las nueve mientras Mi los demás se, se in... ah, Gracias, muy bien, Ronald. ¿Quiere participar de nuevo? Lo vamos a hacer, pero también Diana primero. No, okay. es mejor. <risa> mejor ella. <risa> que no, si ya no hay más, se puede repetir. Pues aquí, ¿quién quiere participar más? It's ok. Diana, tell me. Once I started sharing an apartment, I learned how to get along better with people. Ok. Nice. Let's see if that is the correct answer. We will check it later. Number six. Uh, anybody? Or we wait. Can I try? After. Sure. Guys, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Remember that we okay. learn from the mistakes, okay? So, who say that? Claudia Edit? Um, yes. Okay. Tell me in the number six. Okay. After I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate better. Okay, let's check this one. And the final number seven. Anybody? Edgardo, very good, tell me. Before Thank you, Steve. I, Thank you, I appreciate your participation. Tell me, Edgardo. Before I traveled abroad, I didn't appreciate my own country. <laughs> If you're not mojado, ¿verdad? Hasta entonces le hace falta el país. Exactly. Before I traveled the bro. Traveled. traveled. Esta ED, pronunciémosla traveled. bastante para hacer la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entre presente y pasado. Before I traveled the road, ahí arrastro esta D con la A para que se me oiga mucho más eh, específico el pasado. Before I traveled, traveled the road, All right, I didn't appreciate my own country. And number eight, okay, we're still missing one. Who wants to, to do it? Steve, help me, please. Okay, until I got really sick, I hadn't understood the importance of good health. All right, you had not understood the importance of good health. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we have the correct ones, all right? Todos están correctos. Si quieren, les toman una captura de pantalla, me avisan. Si no, pues continuamos. Okay? Let's see number yes, one. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Let me, let yes. me do it a little bit slower, uh, smaller. Vamos a hacer más wow. pequeñito para que le vayan tomando la, la, la captura a todos estos. All right, so number one. We have number one, aquí está, ¿verdad? Number one. Number two, I had never saved them any money. Screenshot, it continue. Yes. The next something for number three, we have these answers. Number three. Yes. And ahí tienen la number three and number four, para que las tomen también esas dos, de una sola vez. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right. Let's move on, okay? Let's move on. So from number five, we have the answer there. Number five and number six, we have the answers there. Thank you. This is very important, guys, because When you are basically in the class, you just know the answer. So you don't have to be, oh, I made a mistake. Antes de mandar las respuestas, it's, it's important that you already know the answer. So you don't, you just go and finish it right away. Así que no pierden tiempo en estar pensándola, ¿verdad? So that, that's, the, that's the idea to um, answer all the exercises in the class. Number seven and number eight. Let's see. Uy. There you go. Number seven and number Teacher, eight. Hello? I have a, I have a doubt. Tell um, me. In this case, uh, we, we can do all the 
lessons in one day or just one uh, one text uh, one test per day or we can do it by yourself you can do it by yourself uh, but sometimes we have some doubts right for example yes. but if you are trying to get the answer i guess más fácil en el que yes. a veces is a little bit more complex is when you have to type okay porque a veces si no le pone una mayúscula no se la toma bien, ¿verdad? Si le tiene que poner un apóstrofe o una S o algo así, más que todo en eso, pero si usted quiere ir adelantando, it's okay, ¿verdad? Por mí okay. no hay ningún problema que, que usted vaya adelantando mucho mejor, ¿ok? okay. So, ahí Thank tenemos you. the answer for number seven and number eight, ¿ok? Let's move on. Hoy sí, let's continue with the next part. Ya casi terminamos, guys. Acordémonos que voy a poner la alarma a las 59 porque Zoom uh, doesn't let me get in. Así que a veces me cuesta justamente ingresar a la siguiente clase porque me cuesta. No sé por qué. Eh, tengo problemas y a veces el Zoom está no me deja entrar de una sola vez. Así que a las 59, guys, vamos a te ir terminando, ¿ok? Um, 8.59 p.m. Before I forget. Every day. All right, so we have only two minutes left. Uh, any other question, guys? Uh, Steve, do you, you raise your hand? Yes, I got a question. Is it required to fill out the registration for every single day before joining to the class? Because there's like a link we need to use to to like register our names. Um, Have you seen it? If you if you want, we can ask we can ask the question to um there is another person in charge in the WhatsApp group. Okay, yeah. I am ah, not okay. very sure, 100% sure if it's necessary. In my opinion, if you did it once, I believe it shouldn't be necessary to do it every single day, but it is okay if we can uh, ask the question in the group. So the, okay. um, the person in charge can uh, can let us know if it's, if it's necessary or not, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, Thank but you. Re regarding the class, any other question, guys, with the time closes, with the usage of the time closes? No more questions. Claudia? Every single day we have to finish all the little boxes that are above, that the activities that we are doing now. In my, in my opinion, my, my advice is to do it right away, right after the class. So you have yes. everything fresh, right? If you don't remember yes. every, uh, something or you want to do it right away, sometimes we don't have the time. But if we're doing it here in the class, I mean, we are already. Um, you know, um, giving time to the exercises. So you know the answers, you don't have to just to copy and uh, copy or paste, right? Because you are already in the class. So you already know how to answer. The, the, the thing is that when you answer them, when you answer them before, I mean, after the class, you have, you know the answer right away. So you don't spend a lot of time in, in changing the answers, for example. So it would be nice if you do it after the class. I know it's very late for some of us and you're very tired, but uh, sometimes we forget it, all right? So if, imagine sometimes it's like on Friday, you have to finish everything. ¿Verdad? Por lo menos hasta la sección uno. Ahora la vamos a, vamos a comenzar la dos porque esta semana. 8.59. 8.59, ¿verdad? I talked too much, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. All right, yeah. yeah. But good question, Claudia. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, basically, it's almost eight. So thank you for letting me know. Uh, tomorrow, we'll listen to these audios. All right. If you can do it, listen to you. Listen. And we just answer them tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. God see bless you. Tomorrow, you. Teacher. Enjoy good the rest night. of your evening. Okay. Have a good evening as well. Bye-bye. Good evening. Good evening. Bye.